Right now, Wawa Peach is going to go ahead and join me next time on stream. And in the meantime, we're going to have a wild Abra, a wild Abra has appeared. Get oh, out your Abra. Master Balls. Yo, yo, Quick Balls are much more space. Uh, kind of right it's now, good. we got something a little more important. We got Vexy versus Apple. Ooh, this is going to be a good match. So, yeah. Vexy definitely knows his Sonic, one of the best people here at uh, the lounge. Yeah, but his vexatious. He's got a, he's got like a solid Sonic play where he he already knows the foot school can confirm combos. You know what I mean? He's got good spacing. He's not someone who plays really campy. You know, and, until it you know calls for it. He he really just no. He has a really good mastery of both recovery, movement, and aggression with Sonic. Oh yeah, the, definitely Sonic is well obviously the best speeder in the game. But against Diddy, he had a lot of rushdown, a lot of power. Diddy takes a little bit of time to set up to get that banana in position to start doing work with it. And if Sonic can just get in there and mess with Diddy while the banana's in the middle of the air, it just ruins a lot of Diddy's plans. Yeah, so it, Diddy's got to be playing a spacing game, got to be playing zoning perfectly tonight. Yeah, with, with the banana in play, it really just sets up for a lot of his grabs and a lot of his confirms. And don't count out D-Tilt for Diddy because Diddy can actually combo into his up smash as well as a bevy of his other move sets from detail. It's a really, really invaluable move alongside the banana setup. A bevy. I have to a compliment bevy. you on your lexicon there. A, a, a myriad. Oh my. A litany, if you, you will. You are making Webster <laughs> blush. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> so the most educated man in all the laboratory to my uh, A. Lab. Oh, good up smash. Confirming off that detail. Really good play by Apple. Sonic's got a lot of work he's going to have to do to get back into the game versus, uh... Or no, 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 Diddy. No, 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 Diddy's got an extra stock. I'm an idiot. No, not at all. It's an e e easy mistake. Yeah. Ooh. Sonic is going to have to do a lot of footwork, but if it's one thing Sonic's good at, it's those feet. Ooh, almost getting the... Uh oh there, And the banana comes back into play. Yep, yeah, Sonic's got his banana. So Diddy cannot use that to get another banana. He's going to try to get Diddy off guard with it. Try to do a grab combo. That did not work. That gives Diddy another chance to spawn a banana to get some distance. Oh, and just the perfect... That is something that comes with years of knowing how to play your Diddy. It's just knowing the perfect distance where to stand out so you know when you're summoning your banana goes right to the edge. Yeah, Apple is no stranger to that. His Ooh, great spacing by Vexatious. Sets up the footstool combo, and instead of going ahead and setting up for a grab... Hits him with the forward smash, reading his regret, uh, the the grab for the 50-50. Oh, footstools him. Ooh. Tries to gimp him with the trampoline. Oh, but did he coming in, getting the banana in, getting a little bit of hurt? 30% though, that can be very quick for Sonic to get in. But now uh, Diddy is widening that gap 60% now. Sonic's got a lot more work to get done. Got to be careful of those bananas on edge because a lot of times that can set you up for a dare and an easy spike for um, uh, Diddy to basically capitalize on. Oh, yeah. Definitely Smash Wars is a game very heavily spaced up. Oh, yeah. Games. Yeah. It's, it's all about that side game. If you can master getting your opponent... Ooh! Ooh. That was tight! Scary. That was that gave me a little bit of fear, you know? Hollywood can't make a man that scared. Jeez. Oh my gosh. He actually hit him with that up air and punishing his uh his aggression for that ledge guard. And right now we're just back into this neutral, trying to maintain stage control between both characters. It's it's really, really tense right now because Apple is just fairs, uh, spacing him out with fares, trying to confirm off of detail and banana. He's monkey flipping around, not too often, but he's really just trying to throw out anything to land on Sonic. And now he's actually just trying to fish for a kill. Uh, definitely being the apple of the eye, uh, apple of my eye with all of that Sonic. Eye. I love it. My goodness, he is. Uh, he's just got this whole. Oh my goodness, Sonic overextended, got hit with the banana on the way back, and that. That's going to take him down. Oh, my God. You do not overextend over a banana. It, it causes severe <laughs> The pain. banana overextends for you. Hey. Hey. Span Diddy. Kick Span Diddy. <laughs> All, right. All right. I wonder what kind of uh, adjustments they're going to make for the next matchup. I, I, I guess if I was going to counterpick and I was um, vexatious, I'd probably want to go like duck hunt something with a little bit more space. Umbra, like that girl who just turned 18, barely legal. Hey. Oh, <laughs> oh this is gonna be good. <laughs> like so, right now, this is gonna be. This was the doubles uh, pick that actually kicked out Congo Jungle, but it is also tournament legal for singles. So right now, we're gonna see. Ooh, excuse me. Umbra clock tower for um our game two here. 
Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Sonic definitely keeping the uh, main space. A little Easter egg for those of you who don't know about Umbra. The clock on the tower is the same time as the Wii U system time. Yeah, it does have act. It does keep active time. So right now here, it is actually 10:15. Uh, nice little detail. Nintendo's always good with those little details. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I do like the fact that um, about Umber Cock Tower, people at first were debating its validity as a tournament legal stage because of the way that all of the um, platforms are just interchangeably going in and out of the state. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they're only there for about 30 seconds, and it's the same. Um, it's the same dynamic as town and city. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's really not that janky as people I mean, initially... Hell, Delfino was legal for a while. Yeah, Delfino so. and Halberd yeah. and Castle Siege for that matter. Yeah. So yeah. we're not going to go good and claim yeah, about something a little fun. bit more. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah. So it's just like, Sonic. it's basically a final destination with moving platforms. Sonic was down almost 90% and has been working his way back on uh, Diddy. Got 50% so far. It's definitely going to be an uphill battle, but every time he gets a dash attack in, that's an extra 10%. That can do so much hurt. That's another 10% right there. And now he's only 20% away almost. So there's another almost 10%. I like the consistent really damage that Vexatious just oh. enjoys putting on. It's oh. just like, it, it's, it's nothing too fancy. Yeah, you know I what I mean? Raid, he would be my DPS because I love constant damage. <laughs> yeah. and he is just doing a great amount of work right now. Like Diddy, he got a lot of early crits, but right now he's got to he's got to get the kill, and he just can't oh. execute the kill. The back flip not though. enough this time. Ooh, close though. Umber is a bit of a big stage, a lot bigger than uh, a few other stages. But yes. Smash Four is actually really good when it comes to consistency. Uh oh. Stages. Oh, scary. Didn't scary. think he was gonna convert off that banana and actually half step to that kill, and it actually cost him the stock. Yeah. Vexatious actually oh. able to uh, make the. Uh oh. Monkey in the face. Looks like uh, Apple's gonna try to get that kill on Sonic, trying to even things up. Oh, up smash! Yo, why is up smash so good though? It's, um, it's monkey business if you ask me. Hey, but, you know, Vexy right now. Both of them are very even. This is a very even matchup, and gotta ooh, be careful yeah. of those um those those platforms. They're only active for 30 seconds, yeah. and then they switch out. So it, if you're if you're out there and you're wondering, yo, how long do I have before these platforms go ahead and switch? It's approximately about 30 seconds. Yep. It's sort of like town and city, you know? If you get knocked down in a bad position <gasps> on the platform... Footstool? Ooh, footstool. Nothing special. Didn't look like anything happened. Ooh, Sonic accidentally tripped on the banana. But it might have been a strategic twit with the, with uh, Diddy that far out, you know? You yeah. Don't worry about him. Um, but... Ooh! Almost got in with the uh, spin dash into... Uh, or the homing attack into... Uh, Oh, it's Ooh, the player is just that. like over committing. I'm surprised. One thing that just hasn't happened very often is a lot of them are just playing tag. You know, it's there haven't been much conversion off of grabs. I think in this type of matchup, you can't really afford to whiff a grab here because as both players are just showcasing, one one mistake is actually going to be the difference between about like 20 to 30 Ooh, damage the here. Spring spawn doing a little bit of extra hurt. Oh, oh, uh -oh. tries to get. Oh man. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, this, this game, you'd expect actually. Oh, oh is lands the up smash, and that's enough. That's that is a that is a nasty hitbox that Sonic gets when he gets that on the side. I don't think he was gonna snap the stage there. That didn't even qualify as a two frame punish because Diddy was actually gonna recover on top of stage, and Sonic's up smash lifted him at the precise time to get that kill. Wow. Really good read by Vexatious. Yep, so we're going to be moving on to Town and City, another stage where you got to watch out for those platforms, it looks like. Man, or did you see that kill for um, the Salt is Real 18, where Sonic actually gets... Uh, oh, no, it wasn't Salt is Real. We had a Smash at Bay event where Sonic actually lands um, a trampoline kill into a fair at 0% and kills. Oh, my God. Oh, I must... I, I, I feel bad for the person's career. That was... Dude, oh I'd have just God. been super pissed. What? Oh. feel bad. I'd have been pissed. You know, look Let at this that right now. We're 20 seconds into the match, and there's less than 10% in damage. Oh, there we go. Diddy's getting pretty hurt right now. Sonic is doing a great amount of offensive work. You'd expect with a matchup like this, because they both have relatively good recoveries, they do more edge play, but they've been very good at keeping in the middle of the stage. Honestly, I really think that as far as Diddy and Sonic goes, this is just one of those matches where you're either going to be camping or it's going to be all-out war and aggression. You know what I mean? Like, Sonic doesn't have the tools to consistently oh put on Pikachu-esque combos, Mario-esque combos, but 
he has enough to like juggle you, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, juggles are just as deadly as anything else in this game. If you can perfect one thing down and just keep doing it over and over, I mean, that's pretty much what Diddy was back when you could hoo-ha. Yeah. Just one thing over and over. Oh, and Diddy not able to recover. Runs out of gas uh, on that barrel recovery. You don't want to run out of gas in uh, this neighborhood. This is the town and city neighborhood. Yo. <laughs> yo, get out around is, these parts, man. This is scary. This Killiger is back country. Here, yo. yo, Killiger. Ooh, trying to come in with that <gasps> nasty. Oh, oh, he actually is able to get the combo, that instant throw as soon as he hits the ground. Banana, the... Oh, man. Did, I didn't does think know that, to do some work on Sonic. I didn't think that uh, Sonic would classify as a fast faller in this situation because it didn't seem like he went for that back air, back air combo that you usually see from Diddy's. Oh, Diddy, with a little bit of a modified hoo-ha. I should not speak his... Dang, he came in and definitely got Sonic off the top of the stage. Sonic is going to keep his distance. This is an even matchup once again. Sonic got a quick kill, but Diddy is definitely able to get some crit DPS in. And as I said before, he can definitely lay a hurt down in when he's got his moments. I think that right now, as far as this matchup goes, it, it's really just a game of tag. It seems as though both players aren't playing to either of their wavelengths. You know what I mean? They're not overextending themselves. They're just... Look, they're once you're open, I'm hitting you. And you know what I mean? They're, That's they're, it. They're playing the waiting game. They're yeah. playing comfortably. It's a chess match. Exactly. This this is not, a, you know, two guys on a field just poking each other with sticks. This yeah, this is isn't well meet me behind the flag, at the flagpole at 3 o'clock kind of situation. Yeah, this, this is two nerds fighting it out on the internet for... Keyboard warrior style. Yeah. And they are, they uh -oh. are putting a lot of thought into uh -oh. Diddy, that banana throw, able to cancel Sonic's moving inward, coming in, doing a ton of damage, almost with a hoo-ha kill. Ooh. Oh, with the fort smash, he was really aggressive there. Yeah, Sonic's going to have to do some definite work. He's got 60% to catch up on. Apple may be unnerving Vexatious right now because he's hit a lot of things. He's taken a lot of his momentum out. He's probably going to get a little Ooh, bit more that campy. It? That is not Not it. enough. 125 damage, but he has well. Ooh, is that it? Uh, no. no. He's getting stale. Maybe he's it's the... Stale. Yeah, it's staleness, and it might be he's hitting the sour spot of that up smash. Yeah. Sonic has definitely got rage right now, so, I mean, even though he's in a bad position, he's going to be able to put a lot of hurt on Diddy fast if he can get, some, uh, yeah, he up, get something started. Updo can put down some work right now. If he actually just gets Diddy in a precarious situation, sets him up for 50-50 after that footstool, and lands that grab. Oh, the throw into the it's toss, over. and he's gone. It's over. That's oh. enough, man. And that is it. And That's Diddy it. was not too slow. Yeah. Vix, uh, Vex was, is that, was that a winner's Vexages? bracket match? Uh, that was a winner's bracket match. Alright, so Vex will go to London Losers. Man, this is getting, this, this is getting very close to over. I wonder. I Get Jersey got, like, in the building this week. Oh man, you know, if you are in the southeast Pennsylvania area, in that tri-state area, even New York or uh, in Maryland, and you have the ability to get to Philadelphia, come on down to Hatbro to the library. Or library. the library. <laughs> Le go to the library. Where's your library card? Come on. Come in and read all the books you want. <laughs> Come on down to the laboratory as well. It is a great gaming lounge. Friday nights, we're going to be doing Smash 4. They've also got Melee. They've got fighting games. They've got events that you can host with your friends. Come on down and just bask in the nerddom. You bask us, in you the know? nerddom, yes. And it supports a great little Smash community. Oh. Philadelphia Smash has got a big scene behind it. And I think... I think events like this are definitely going to keep growing. Yeah, Smash and Clash is the first time we had this uh, We Bear Bears is usually rebranded. So we have our weeklies every Fridays, as well as our downright fears for um, U uh, Ultimate Super Street Fighter 4 on Thursdays. And we have PM and Melee on Mondays. So there's a diverse array of fighting games that we have set up for the lab um, events. And there's also every third Saturday in the month is our, um, our monthly tournament. So, for our monthly tournament, it, you know, it's crazy. So, if you're on Twitch, go ahead and share out the stream. Share it to your friends. Make sure you're watching the Clash Tournament stream as well. Both of the streams broadcasting two different matches from this building. So, if you can't get enough Smash with just us, you can watch the boys at the other end of the building just doing and doing the rest of the doubles. are on grand final doubles right now. So, yeah. you better be watching both. You and better have grand both final open. doubles is hype right now. I am rooting for Blue. I love Mewtwo. I love me some Mewtwo. And I, this is the first time we've seen Corrin so far in bracket, especially being one of the newcomers to this game. So I'm excited either way. If you haven't got a chance to go ahead and follow both f forms of the tournament, we have 
double the smash for you. We're running singles here oh, on Bros Calamity Twitch TV. Oh, we just and got some friendlies going on. Right yeah, we now. got friendlies going around right now so that we can just keep the stream going. Yeah. But if you if you want to see more smash, we have the exact same tournament, more matches on stream because usually we only have enough time to showcase. Uh, singles or doubles, but tonight we have singles and doubles running at the same time on two different streams. If you want to watch our doubles matchups, you're going to have to go to twitch.tv um, slash clash tournaments mm -hmm. for the, uh, the, tw the Twitch stream. On um, the Twitter, if you want to follow it, it's at clash tournament. The S is absent so that you can follow it on Twitch. Worst case scenario with Twitch, you can just go to the game Smash Brothers and do a little search around there. Just and don't go to anybody else. Clash Tournaments, Bros Calamity. That's where you keep your buddy. Right. And your Bros Calamity, keep it locked in here because we have the majority of our singles matches turning out for www.twitch.tv slash bros underscore calamity. So you're going to get the majority of the singles matches here. And don't, don't move. Get popcorn, yeah. use the bathroom while we're hitting these friendlies, but it's about to get crazy in here. Yeah, we still have a lot of heavy hitters. Yeah. If you're not a fan of doubles, you can watch one. And if you're not a fan of singles, you can watch another. It's the perfect viewing opportunity. You get to see the best of Philly Smash. So, I mean, what's what's wrong here? Why, why are you not enjoying it? You better be enjoying it. Ooh. All right. All right, so, so real quick while we get the next...